Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Farizatul Azwan bin Kamal Zaman from class M380 1101A. I take course in Diploma Printing Industry Management Campus Tiasi. My lecturer is Madam Siti Aisyah Naila binti Cik Musa. For my task AGR 12 plan sign, today I would like to give an explanation about transpiration in plant. Okay, so what is transpiration? Okay, transpiration is the evaporation of water from plants which is water absorbed by the roots of a plant. Transpiration is very important for maintaining moisture conditions in the environment. Next, what the function of transpiration? Okay, plants take in water more than they need at a given time. It is a way of getting rid of excess water. When water is removed from the plant, it can more easily access the carbon dioxide that it needs for photosynthesis. Also, plants can use the transpiration as a method cooling themselves system. Okay, what is transpiration? We just studied that the transportation of food in plants occurs in phloem and its water occurs in xylem. Now, we will discuss transpiration and the factors affecting it. Plants continuously absorb water from the soil, but not all the water absorbed is used by the plant. Excess water evaporates from aerial parts of, a plant, of plants and mostly through the stomata below the lamina of the leaf. This process is called transpiration. Ever wonder how plants draw water up? Against the force of gravity, the evaporation of water from leaf result is in suction force, which pulls water up the xylem vessel. This suction force is called transpiration pull. It is the main force that pulls water and mineral salts up the plant. This upward, upward movement of substance is called the transpiration stream. Okay, what is... So, what are the examples of transpiration? Has three types of transpiration in plant, which is cuticular transpiration, stomata transpiration, and lenticular transpiration. Cuticular transpiration is the evaporation of water from a plant's cuticle. The cuticle is a waxy film that covers the surface of a plant leaf. When plants close their stomata in dry condition, more water is transpired this way. Next is stomatal transpiration. Stomatal transpiration is the evaporation of water from a plant's stomata. Most of the water transpired this way. The, the water transpired from a plant leaf exits through the stomata. Water in liquid form changes to water vapor and evaporates from the plants through open stomata. Lastly is lenticular transpiration. This transpiration is the evaporation of water from the lenticels a small opening in the bark of branch and twig. Just some plants have lenticels. The water loss this way is very small compared to stomatal transpiration. It may increase if the environment of a plant is in a dry. Okay, so what the factors are affecting the transpiration? First is temperature. The evaporation of diffusion are faster at higher temperature. Second is humidity. Diffusion of water vapor out of the leaf slows down if the leaf is already surrounded by moist air. Third is wind speed. Moving air removes water vapor, increasing the rate of diffusion of water vapor from the leaf. And lastly is light intensity. The stomata open wider to allow more carbon dioxide into the leaf for photosynthesis. Okay, so uh, that's all from me for today about the transpiration in plant. So, thank you.